In this video, we're going to talk about a very important subject. We'll talk about the sound options in Guitar Pro 6. These options are found in the sound menu. Guitar Pro 6 offers two types of ways to handle sound. The first one is MIDI. What you need to understand with MIDI is that MIDI itself doesn't include any actual sounds. MIDI is a computer language that transfers different types of information, such as pitch or length, to a player. The player itself handles the sound used. Sound cards include MIDI sounds, but also external sound cards or external MIDI modules. So really the sound of the MIDI is going to vary from computer to computer. The advantage is that MIDI doesn't require a very powerful computer to be used. Let's open the sound menu and open the audio settings. This is where I'm going to be able to tell the software where to transfer the MIDI information. In this particular case, I'm using my internal sound card. I can check to make sure that the MIDI connection is made. And it is, so I'm going to click OK. Guitar Pro 6 also allows you to use more professional sounds by using the RSE which is Realistic Sound Engine module. This module is proper to Guitar Pro 6 and allows you to trigger samples included in the software that are gonna sound professional and very realistic. You can activate or deactivate the RSC Sound Engine by simply going into the Sound menu. Let's enter a new track on our project. We're gonna add a new track by going into the Track menu, Add, and we'll assign to this track a classical nylon guitar. Now that my track is entered, I'm going to enter a first chord and I'll enter an E minor chord. Let's compare the difference between the MIDI sound and the RSC sound. Here's the chord played with MIDI, and you can see that the MIDI icon is highlighted underneath your score. Now let's activate the RSE sound by going into the sound menu and selecting the RSE option. We're going to play our chord again. Here it is. As you can hear, the chord played with RSE is much more realistic but is lacking effects. We're going to fix that by going into the effect panel, which is the third panel on the left side of your score. Whenever you create a new track in Guitar Pro 6, a few effects are going to automatically be assigned to that track. Let's add a second track to our score by going to the track menu, add. We're going to add another guitar, but this time we're going to use the distortion guitar. And as you can see, for the distortion guitar, we have a new set of effects corresponding to that sound. The distortion guitar has its own effects. The nylon guitar has its own effects. Of course, you can change that. You can delete some of these pedals, add some more, add an amp, tweak them however you like. Let's add a reverb pedal right after the last effect. I'm going to double click on the empty space. This opens up the list of all the different effects we can add. These effects are organized by type. We're going to go into the reverbs and select a spring reverb. I'm going to double click on the desired pedal and the pedal shows up directly in the effects chain. Whenever you're working on a new track and when you're trying to configure the effects to match your track, a good way to do this is to prepare a first measure, select that first measure by double clicking on it, and then loop it by selecting the simple loop option on the bottom right of the score. Now if you play your loop, it's going to repeat over and over and you'll be able to make the changes in the effects panel in real time. 